our crew, folks, Cuphead Gone Hollywood. The scrappy video game character is starring in his own TV series, The Cuphead Show. The Cuphead Show is a brother comedy that follows the adventures and misadventures of Cuphead and his brother Mugman. They get into all kinds of trouble because they're not really sure what's right and what's wrong yet. Con evil. Cuphead, I'm not so sure. You know what I do when I'm not so sure? I double down! They're sort of at this perfect age. They're not really kids and they're not adults. I hate those cups. The game is such a great vehicle to make a series out of. It's just a visual bombardment of great characters and great action. Hello! Run! I love it when they run. When we first started playing around with the visual style of the 1930s and, and having a super cartoony look to the game, we joked. Imagine one day if this got turned into a cartoon. You're working on a video game based on a cartoon, then all of a sudden there's a cartoon based on the video game. That's right, baby. That's exactly right. <laughs> Every opportunity we got, we tried to mirror the game in some way or reflect what they were doing in the game. Not a lot of animation looks like this. Actually, no animation looks like this anymore. You two are nothing but trouble. We love trouble. So the game is filled with these bosses that everyone loves and cannot beat. The island is full of people trying to pull one over. When Cup and Mugman meet up with them, they sort of meet their match. King Dice shows up in the game and is such a visual treat that we had to use him in the show. Who's the host with the most? Mm -hmm. You are your handsome devil. In our version of King Dice in the TV series, we knew we needed to get someone who had a huge amount of charisma, can host, can sing, can dance. Wayne Brady was just like, he's super funny. He can actually sing like crazy. Hello, y'all. This is King Dice. I am the gamest in the land. And uh, y'all might know me as the devil's right hand man. Yeah, he brought so much to that character. Who will be the first lucky contestant to roll the dice? I think the thing that resonates about this particular brand of humor with fans is that it's really classic, and it's classic for a reason. The stuff that they were doing in the 1930s was really meant to be universally funny. I They're really silly. I couldn't be any more happy with who we got to work with and how the production came together. And it's so entertaining. Make sure to check out The Cuphead Show, only on Netflix. Hey, boys, how's that face?